hey guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is jada and today we're gonna be doing a q a and a get ready with me so i'm going to finally answer the questions that were sent to me on my instagram so earlier this year i asked people on my instagram to send me questions that they had regarding the living donation process post donation process and just everything kidney related and i wrote them down i've actually got the questions here so we're going to go through the questions i'm going to give you guys all the answers that you want to know and i'm also going to do my makeup so stay tuned and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this so let me find a question them and then we can get started so from when only did some of the question them online i write them down i never made the video yet I write them down and now me i made the video so this should be interesting so the first question is how long was recovery so personally for me um mother said recovery probably take me two months for me to feel no pain probably yeah probably eight weeks two good months for me to feel no pain and that is normally the standard recovery time so you normally get that time off work and then you can add to it but in my case i did have a slight complication so but it probably take about three months for actually recover and like come off of crutches and can start walk by myself start the second question moving on how were your blood results after surgery blood results was completely fine everything was perfect except my blood pressure at points my blood pressure would have got up when my dip on the ward hop <laughs> i can't through my talk my blood pressure would have got up when my dip on the ward and like say um i don't know so something that go wrong like we we'll just get anxious and my blood pressure would have go up and that show in other results but other than that blood was completely fine you were in fine no worries third question moving on did the transplant work right away so yes thank god the transplant did start work i think within seconds like once them connect the kidney in urine start run so the transplant literally work immediately so that's a good sign. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrow now because I can talk on the eyebrow and then I'm going to come back. are done and i'm back now next question how was recovery i want to donate but i'm very scared so another recovery question recovery for me like honestly speaking we did underestimate it we did underestimate the surgery we never know say it would take that much of a toll on my body like we know say yeah it obviously i don't need a kidney but we never did have any other surgery before so there was nothing for me to compare the pain to or like just the technicalities like when you all wake up in the morning like don't try just sit up straight like you have to try roll over or you need to get a pregnant pillow to help you sleep better at night or you're gonna have hot flushes like there's so many things women just never really pay attention to somebody just think oh yeah surgery like mega good after two weeks like you know smile something like that but girl it never smile mm -mm. it'd be hard somebody hard it'd be hard it'd be hard it'd be hard so recovery for me it is rough but if you have family um definitely take advantage of that you have people out there for support you i know say the hospital where me did go which is guys hospital like their team did excellent like whatever me did need someone was there to help in terms of advice and in terms of actual practical and mental support there was always someone at the other side waiting to help so use your clinical team use your family and friends use the support system where you have to help you get through the recovery process in terms of being scared like it's completely normal to feel scared and to have fear you're only human but what i what i'd say is that the the reward is going to be so much my dad the reward is going to be worth it and if you think about it you're giving someone else another chance at life like you're going to change your life come completely 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 so i would say don't let the fear stop you from doing it but at the same time if it's a thing where it is playing with your mental health and the fear is crippling you then definitely take a step back and get the medical and the 
mental support that you need because ultimately you come first so yeah that's what i'd say but in terms of the recovery process he beat my bad 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 because i'm just never ready like even though i prepared for it it's almost like i can't explain it like you know oh when people pregnant them obviously got all of them baby class and them something there but when the real pregnancy come now anything can happen like it the pain is like no one can teach you the kind of pain we are gonna have nobody can tell you like a precise amount of pain where you're gonna feel like everything is just kind of like in theory but when reality come is a whole different ball game but it is doable at the end of the day like once the worst site gone which is normally like the first four weeks because obviously you still have on medication and stuff once that gone after that everything else coming like a breeze so you can do it but at the same time like don't underestimate it definitely seek help and listen to a clinical team say and try to speak to other people donate before because them can give a more realistic and not even realistic but like a more practical feedback you know in terms of how is recovery well that's a rough but worthwhile next question somebody say are you allowed to travel so yes i'm allowed to travel if you do follow me on instagram you've seen that i've already been to two countries after donation so i donated on i don't i donated in november and i went to jamaica in december so you are able to travel after you donate there's no limit on that not unless you, not unless you have other health conditions or complications may that may interfere with you traveling but on a whole yeah you can travel just fine and i'm gonna have no problem while traveling either the only thing was that i did use the um airport you know them have the special service so with them just pushing at the another wheelchair and them get your luggage for you and stuff like that so i did just use that on the first trip to jamaica in december which was really lovely by the way like next question would you do it again that's a really deep question in the blink of an eye yeah would i do it again because like i just feel like in life like everybody deserves a second chance and at the end of the day like if it wasn't my dad would give the kidney like even if it was like a friend or someone that i knew more would i do it again ultimately i guess somebody has another chance at life and something like that you can't take lightly understand because if it was me me would have surely take the kidney would i take it if somebody else could have give me so managa more do one put a cap on somebody else's life you understand because it's not like you can't live normal with one kidney like look for me no me i live normal as ever with the one kidney so i wouldn't not do it again would i definitely do it again in the blink of an eye if we did have more kidney forgive more would i give honestly come and feel it for them when them do on dialysis or when them when them just have kidney problem like you're not alive you can't do nothing you literally can't do nothing because your kidney your kidney get rid of all of the toxins in your body so if your kidney now clean out your blood and now uh, get rid of the toxins in your body then everything store up in your body and your body starts well either your foot starts well your hand them swell or you have to go on dialysis you know which basically you have to do three times a week for at least four hours a day so you don't have a life you don't really have a life to live you understand you just have to, you're just barely alive if you can do your dialysis or whatever so yeah mother eat again forget somebody else the next chance at living you know ultimately that's what life is about not in finding your purpose and me believe that if you can help somebody else without damaging yourself then definitely go for it in any way that you can because life already hard by itself so you know wow add to that you know wherever we can spread love we spread love and this was one of the ways so yeah more it again um what is it like to only live with one kidney um i'm gonna feel a real difference to be honest like i'm gonna feel no different right now what i would say is like scientifically once you donate one kidney the kidney we have remaining it then start to grow so basically take on the rules and the tasks of the other kidney would add so it supports your body better so in a sense it's almost like say you don't lose one kidney because the next kidney will work just as well so i'm gonna feel no different and i can still do everything when we did i do before so yeah it feel normal for have one kidney plus 
some people actually born with one kidney but them don't know until something go wrong and them ready for test so it just show you that it's actually normal to have one kidney so donate guys if you can donate question do you have to change your diet or take regular medication no thank god because ain't nobody got time for that no i don't have to take any medication i don't currently take anything once i came off my last medication in early january and then i had another small operation in march which i went on medication for again but now i'm completely off painkillers i don't have to take any oh god i was saying i don't have to take any medication and diet they do recommend having a healthy diet but if you don't have anything like wrong with you in terms of like any other underlying illness or conditions then whatever diet you had before will be just fine so at the moment i'm not i haven't changed my diet um since having since donating the kidney but what i have tried to do is stop drinking as much alcohol because obviously it's not good for the local one kidney next question does it feel like something is missing <laughs> i know that question they mean you know but no no it doesn't feel like anything is missing like i feel completely normal looking at me like feeling like i just feel normal you get what i mean what i can say is when you do wake up like you're getting a lot of pain and you can feel the swelling and the pain from the incision but it's not like some of feel like a like a hollow feeling or if more physically like pushing my belly more feel like one part sinking and the next part not sinking like no it no feel no different when i feel no lighter like when i feel like nothing did missing but just a quick look at story time um when my did wake up out of the operation like the second day i believe the second day you know the second day like i couldn't stay in at the bed no matter what like my did was obsessed with going to see my father because we're up on the same like floor but we have different beds and it like make the other males different from the female somebody just obsessed with like no no bring these times may have vomiting and may have vomit up the place so i said no i have to my father bring me to my father anyways now my nurse bring him go see him and when we go around there i don't want big old permit that lego <laughs> in other people in place vomit up the place so my nurse pushed me back around now and she did that explain to me say like she understand the urge of my half to go around there but I kinda just have to stay in my room. But what she has said is that usually when she have her donors, she said that once them finish finish once them come out operation and them can move around, them cannot stay away from the person where them they donate the kidney from because them is like a, almost like a psychological thing it's like your body and your mind feel like something is missing but you on your conscious side you're not gonna think like nothing missing but yeah that couldn't like nothing could have something from going around there somebody obsessed with going around there so after she tell me that that they kind of make sense because me so me i didn't have one to make myself go around this upper. and then she did just say oh yeah like oh yes protein guys before you put on your setting powder spray your face and your makeup has come out so much different so anyways yeah moving on now um yeah so i'm gonna feel like not missing so you're not gonna feel like not missing i think probably if a specialist now like a nephrologist come well they do when a nephrologist come down the inspection they can tell that something's missing because obviously they're trained to know about kidney how long did it take you to give your dad the kidney from when you decided till the actual day of operation so i decided so i found out in june and the same day i find out at the same day i say yeah you'll get the kidney and the actual operation was the following year in november so boy year and a half yes it probably took about a year and a half and that's because we did have a lot of work up to do when i say work up i mean like we did have a in terms of with my health we did have to do a lot of tests week in week out to make sure that i would have been perfectly healthy even after donating even though i did healthy like at the point of examination them still have to make sure say, after your donation you are still healthy and you're not you're not really predisposed to anything that might be lethal to your health after donating because you know it's against the guidelines to basically harm a donor in any way 
no other question here too much for my soul. The people in our business. The people in our business. We don't want to know everything. Everything. The person say, how long after surgery did you return? No. How long after the operation do you have to wait to have sex? Well, my child, um, I never wait long. Mm -hmm. Probably. I we'll probably wait well, one month, but I never know fantastic. I just, you know, just get it in and, and move on. Not fantastic, no, I forgot to tell the word about, but yeah, probably four weeks. But obviously, everybody recovery different. It just depends on how you feel. They don't really have a set time as to when you must start get active again. But they normally recommend say so you don't rush it, but once you feel comfortable enough, then definitely start but just take it at your own pace because you know you basically just have a c-section so you can't do too much <laughs> uh moving on how long after surgery did you return to work three months so yeah three months after surgery my return to work which was really nice do you have any regrets nope thank god i'm gonna have no regrets at all none at all but I do feel like say I feel like I could have taken it more seriously like what must I take it more seriously is not like say I never take the whole process seriously like I did but in a sense that I chose surgery I never did anticipate it for me as I don't know as intrusive as it was like I never really think about Every, even though the nurse them tell me like this is a big thing where I do blah 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 like you need to get prepared kind of thing like mentally like blah 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 like but they definitely take it on board but at the same time like if you talk to my friend them now them can tell you so, like but they have plans like three weeks two weeks after surgery like but they say oh yeah I'm gonna do this course I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this like but they just think say you know quick one to stitch up and then you're back again but um yeah no regrets right here honey we all good can you still get pregnant? Yes, you can still have child after donated a kidney. You can still breed, but you just have to do it more strategic. What's the most difficult thing about donating? So one, the surgery, actual surgeries, it was it's quite painful, and the personal and never take it as seriously as I could have. So that, and then another um, difficult thing was that I had a complication which was never explained to me throughout the whole operation so during well post-op during recovery i think at two days after recovery i noticed that my left leg wasn't working so i had a delayed recovery with my left leg so i had to basically learn how to rewalk And that wasn't explained to me during the workup of the operation so I think that was quite difficult to me because it was it did just come as a shock like I did just wake up and my foot never work and me I said no Daja never did some sign up for like in terms of the leg thing like another difficult thing for me was like when people came to see me on the ward well not my family but like send me a walk and I remember one time May I walk for the gate? I don't remember why, but what did I do? I never walk normal, but like, I never walk for the gate. I walk for the gate. Something more with my friend, and one lady see me and she said, Oh, like, you don't need your kidney. Why are you there for the Like, what go on yourself? And I said, Oh, like, I have a small complication, you know, the nerves not work, so my leg not really work. The girl, the lady said, Oh, God, you know, that's not going to come back. And I said, Why would you say that? Like, why would you say Say that in this condition they basically tell myself I'm not gonna ever can walk again so to me that was really disheartening because I'm gonna think she understand like I'm a leg yeah talk about here like you can't just say that lightly and expect say I'm not gonna say nothing you know so that was difficult hearing people you know so just at times just hearing insensitive comments when you go through your phase my makeup is done this is just a nice simple everyday beat you know I think, I think that's it if you guys have any more questions if you guys have any more questions then you can definitely dm me i'll be happy to do those i'll definitely go through those with you you can also email me um
guys so that's all of the questions thanks for joining me today thanks for everyone that participated on instagram if you weren't following me make sure that you follow me at underscore j-a-y-x-o-s and be sure to subscribe to this video thank you i hope this was helpful bye